Hello everyone. Today, let's talk about cloud platforms. The most common cloud platform is OpenStack. What is OpenStack? In a broad sense, OpenStack is an open source cloud computing management platform project, which includes components for providing computing, storage, network mirroring, and other services. It aims to provide users with a cloud computing management platform that is easy to deploy, offers abundant services, complies with unified standards, and can be expanded on a large scale. In Huawei Cloud Fabric Solution, OpenStack interconnects with the Agile Controller DCN and provides a human-machine interface for the system administrator to configure resources and the tenant administrator to orchestrate services. OpenStack can be considered as being composed of multiple functional components. The following describes the main component names and functions. Nova is a project that provides computing resource services in OpenStack. It manages the lifecycle of VMs and other computing resources. Neutron provides network services for computing resources. Cinder provides persistent block storage services that provision resources on demand through unified interfaces for the cloud platform. Keystone provides the authentication service for OpenStack. Swift provides the object storage service. Silometer provides monitoring and accounting services. Heat provides orchestration services in OpenStack. Horizon provides a GUI for users to configure tasks and manage resources in OpenStack. In addition to open source OpenStack, there are some commercial cloud platforms such as Huawei FusionSphere. FusionSphere is a cloud OS solution designed for multiple industries. Developed based on the native OpenStack architecture, FusionSphere solution has been optimized for enterprise cloud computing data center scenarios. It offers powerful virtualization capabilities, resource pool management, comprehensive cloud infrastructure components and tools, and open and standard APIs. In addition, it helps enterprise customers horizontally consolidate physical and virtual resources in data centers and vertically optimize service platforms. The solution is suitable for both traditional and emerging applications, facilitating the construction, use, and evolution of enterprise cloud computing platforms. Now, let's look at the origin of the cloud network integration scenario in the data center field. Traditional data centers encounter the following dilemmas. Dilemma one, inefficient service deployment. Before new services are provisioned, the network needs to be planned, configured, and tested, and the impact on old services should be evaluated. As a result, it takes a long time for deployment, which cannot meet the requirements of new services. Dilemma two, low resource usage. Many systems occupy resource pools independently, resulting in silo resource pools. When the resource usage of a system is low, other systems cannot use redundant resources in the resource pool. Dilemma three, complex O&M management. Diversified services are concurrently running in a data center. When a service is faulty, it's difficult to quickly detect and isolate the faulty service. Cloud computing can be used to solve the preceding dilemmas by offering the following typical features. Automated services, elastic resource pools, and refined O&M. Software-defined networking is crucial for ICT to implement cloud computing. Currently, software-defined computing and software-defined storage are available. Therefore, SDN must be implemented at the network layer to achieve agile networks. Clouds are classified into private cloud, public cloud, and hybrid cloud. The private cloud is a dedicated cloud infrastructure of a single enterprise. Its infrastructure is highly customized and highlights the service characteristics of the enterprise. Many small and medium-sized enterprises cannot build their own clouds of a certain scale. Instead, they lease infrastructures and resources from cloud service providers to quickly build their own VDCs this is the public cloud. Some infrastructures of an enterprise are established on the public cloud and others are on the private cloud. The public cloud and private cloud communicate with each other through certain methods to implement application transplantation and data migration. This is the hybrid cloud. If the network department and IT department of an enterprise are combined and possess certain technical skills, 
cloud DCs can be deployed in cloud network integration mode. Cloud requirements vary according to industry. Government and enterprise finance. IT computing resource pooling and cloud-based EDC. Carrier. Rack leasing, cloud-based IDC, and NFVI Telecom Cloud. Internet. Physical machine, virtual machine, VPC leasing, providing IaaS, PaaS services. Now, I will introduce to you the logical hierarchical architecture of cloud network integration in Huawei Cloud Fabric Solution. From top to bottom, the service presentation and orchestration layer supports interconnection with community or third-party commercial open stack and third-party cloud management platforms. This layer also supports interconnection with Huawei Fusion Sphere Cloud Platform and Huawei Manage One Cloud Management Platform. At the network control layer, the Agile Controller DCN interconnects with the OpenStack Neutron through the northbound API to receive service model parameters. The Agile Controller DCN provides southbound APIs to centrally manage and control physical and virtual networks. The network service layer is a basic physical network consisting of physical devices to carry the VXLAN overlay network and provide VASs through physical or virtual devices. The computing access layer supports interconnection with virtual and physical servers and automatic provisioning of bare metal servers. Networks and policies can be configured for VMs on the V switches. Let's turn our attention to APIs. The Agile Controller DCN provides plugins that are deployed on the cloud platform to directly interconnect with the cloud platform. The Agile Controller DCN interconnects with the cloud platform through the RESTful RESTConf API and receives network service instructions sent by the cloud platform. FusionSphere directly interacts with the VMM and the traffic does not need to be transmitted through the Agile Controller DCN. The Agile Controller DCN detects and obtains firewall information through SNMP and delivers configurations to firewalls through NetConf. The Agile Controller DCN detects and obtains information about physical switches through SNMP and delivers configurations to physical switches through NetConf and flow tables to physical switches through OpenFlow to implement O&M functions such as path detection. The vSwitch connects to Agile Controller DCN and reports alarms to it through RPC. The Agile Controller DCN delivers OVSDB interaction information to the vSwitch and delivers flow tables to it through OpenFlow. In the cloud network integration scenario, F5 LB services are delivered without passing through the Agile Controller DCN. F5 LB AAS plugin is deployed on the cloud platform and deploys the big IQ plugin on its VAS devices so that the cloud platform can manage F5 VAS devices. The cloud platform uses a plugin to deliver services to the F5 LB using the agent through RESTful. During packet delivery, Agile Controller DCN plugin on the cloud platform interacts with the F5 LB plugin to notify the LB of VXLAN tags to be carried so that packets are transmitted to the fabric network. In a subsequent video, I will introduce some common concepts in the data center and service models of the cloud platform and controller. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.